See you see the G, there's a G, there's an O, and there's the D. Joe yeah. Fondano is a believer. He spent the past 30 years coming to this shrine in upstate New York, collecting water from a natural spring. My friend who lives in Waterville now, his sister, received that water, and she had this type of cancer, and uh, she was diagnosed. It completely went away. Kateri Tekakwita was born in 1656. She was known as the Lily of the Mohawks and survived a smallpox outbreak that killed her parents and brother. It left her nearly blind and covered with pockmarks. She fled north to Canada because she was unhappy with a marriage arranged by her uncle. There she joined indigenous converts to Christianity. After taking a vow of chastity, she spent long hours in prayer and penance in the bitter cold. She died when she was 24. Monks said all the pockmarks on her body vanished. To do what she did for such a young girl and to go through what she did and to come out like this, she de deserves to be canonized. Catholics have been pushing for her sainthood since the 1880s, but for that to happen, the Vatican needed proof of a miracle. And for that, they looked at Jake Finkbonner. He was just five when he was infected by a skin-eating bacteria. Father Tim was able to come down and and um, offered Jake his last rites, and uh, it was at that time that Father Tim suggested that we we pray for Blessed Kateri's intercession, that she too was Native American descent, and that she was infected with smallpox. The family says their prayers worked, even though Jake also received medical treatment. And how does Jake feel about all this? It makes me feel like I'm, try I'm doing something for God, bringing more people back into his community. For many Native American Catholics, this is an important moment. She stands for more than uh, just a saint in the church. She's a First Nations person, an Aboriginal um, Native American. More than 300 years after her death, thanks to a young boy, Kateri Tekakwita is set to be immortalized in the Catholic Church. Banu Patnagar, Al Jazeera.